U.S. President Joe Biden and his Chinese counterpart will meet in the sidelines of the Apex Summit in San Francisco this week. Their first talks in a year. Joining us live now, Curtin University's Dean of Global Future, Joe Syracuse. What are they going to talk about, Joe? Good morning, Pete. Well, they could start anywhere, Pete, because uh, the relationships down in the, the gutter, uh, uh, they, 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 Sino-American relations or Chinese-American relations are at a crossroads. Uh, they, um, they're talking about going to war down the road. Both parties in Washington are, are hostile towards China and Chinese politicians in the party are hostile towards the United States. You remember, Pete, six years ago, President Xi was in Mar-a-Lago having a nice quiet time with um, with President Trump having a, what they call a beautiful piece of chocolate cake. And then uh, Trump got a little angry about uh, trade, and then we went into geopolitics and technology and all the rest of it. And uh, uh, Chinese-American relations has been downhill for, for, for six yeah. years, and all kinds of uh, signals, uh, red signals everywhere, with China Sea, South China Sea, the East China Sea, and, and around Taiwan and other places. So uh, I think they're going to they're have to talk about some red lines and, and how they want to get on. And as I say, uh, you know, during my time, uh, China and America uh, persisted with peaceful coexistence. They got on together during the Cold War, and, and this is Cold War 2.0. Yeah. So that's the only choice they have. So how do you it, draw it those be... red lines, though? I mean, because Australia's involved in this too. Obviously, our relationship's getting a little better now. You know, is it, is it sort of a thing where, OK, we can trade. We can trade together. We can do trade cheaper than usual. But you can't ask us about human rights, and you can't ask us about what we're doing in the South China Sea. Is that, is that about how things need to be for us all to get along? Well, not not really. You know, to tell you the truth, I think China is behaving a little better in the last couple of years. Uh, they they went on the wrong direction with uh, with Australia, and America's picked this up too. That the uh, Chinese diplomacy has taken a more positive attitude about their role. And um, and you're right, uh, the Chinese and uh, they can't deal with us uh, in the West without uh, us questioning what they do in other places. And, and vice versa, you know, when they want to take a role in Ukraine or maybe even in, in, in reducing the, the worst effects of the Gaza war, I mean, we may have to listen to them. And the thing is, is that um, this is interesting, Pete, at this APEX thing, which is, of course, one of these uh, great meetings that amounts to nothing, uh, that there is going to be a gala dinner in San Francisco. And uh, the Chinese have invited all the corporate heads in America, plus university professors, our university vice chancellors or presidents, et cetera. So while the United States is trying to work out some kind of a working relationship with China, the Chinese are working the American business community, which is desperate to uh, stay in the, the China market and, you know, make their billions of dollars. So Americans are a little divided about that. But there's no doubt about it. Politicians and the military in Washington are gearing up for a war one day with China, which I hope never takes place. And, of course, uh, China has to understand that we have certain... Uh, things that we count on and that we, uh, we we value, and they can't go stepping on them, as a matter of fact. And if they do, well, you know, they're just going to have to pay that kind of price. Okay. But you're right. Australia is the meat and the sandwich. There's no doubt about that. Joe, good to see you as always. We'll chat to you again next week.